7 Dodge Ram 1500 with the 5.7 Hemi. Um, and I was changing out the water pump, so I'm using this opportunity to change out that oil pressure uh, sending unit right there, oil pressure switch, whichever one you want to call it. Um, these tend to go bad. This usually happen right after you do an oil change. And since I already had was receiving that P0520 code, I'm using this time to go ahead and do it because as you can see, it's a lot of room with everything out of the way. The hose is out of the way to be able to get it. So I'm gonna have to climb up underneath to actually uh, remove the, 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 the clip that holds that, uh, the wire on there, the plug on there at, at the bottom. So I'm probably gonna have to climb underneath just to be able to see it to get good access to it to pull that off. All right, this is that view from underneath. Uh, that will be where the lower radio holes will be coming out of the water pump. Uh, and there, of course, is your oil filter right there. And as you can see right above the oil filter, there is the switch right there. So I don't think you can probably see the clip because it's all covered with uh, old oil and, and other crap. Uh, but that's what I need to push down on in order to be able to get the clip off of the uh, oil pressure switch. So just wanted to give you that other view, that other angle. All right, so it's hard to tell because it's covered with so much grime, but there's a red tab on here, right there. You can barely see a little bit of red on there. I need to pop that out in order to uh, get that off. I don't know if I'll be able to do that with the camera, but I'll give it a try. I need to be able to pop it out in order to be able to push the tab down. You saw that came out. Now I'm going to see if I can squeeze that tab down. And there we go. As you can see, and you can see it's the three, um, the three uh, plug. You see that three in there? One, two, three. So some only have one. And I think that may confuse somebody whenever you're looking on, say, eBay or Amazon or whatever. You see it's kind of loose. Well, I think it was bad because the actual plug part is moving, but not the uh, actual sending unit itself. So I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Let me see if I can get a different angle. Uh, may not be possible. Here, you're going to see me move this but the actual part that goes in the engine is staying still. Can you see that? <laughs> so, and I'm gonna to have to clean these, uh, spray something in there to clean that out too. Look at that. So I can get some good contact. All right. All right, so this is our new plug right here. Uh, I wanted a Mopar one. I would prefer that given the trouble you have to, and there's a lot of issues with these no-name brand aftermarket ones. Um, but Mopar or uh, Napa was out, and uh, I want to get this water pump done, so I'm gonna give it a try. Cross my fingers on this, and I'm using this uh, special socket here. I already had it laying around, I think it's one and one eighth, so it's wide enough and deep enough to be able to receive in that part of the plug. So it'll drop down in there, like so, to be able to take out the old one and take put in a new one. All right. Oh, and by the way, the one I'm using is called Standard. Got it off of eBay, uh, PS317. They did an overnight delivery. So that part was pretty cool. So hopefully it works. So the one, the one that's on here, the oil sending unit is, uh, I believe it's a one and one eighth, whereas what I have is a one and one sixteenth. So because I'm, but that I'm already ha that I already have all these other parts off. It's allowing me to use my channel locks here to get in there and uh, loosen it up from the side. So that's what I'm doing. Chances are you may not have this opportunity, but I'm using the opportunity. So I loosen it up. So now I'm just uh, screwing it off now by hand, and uh, there it is. Yeah, look at that pretty bad. There's the oil all up in there. This part is uh, 
loose. I think oil was coming through the uh, through by the plug and everything. So this thing was definitely shot. Alrighty, so we'll put on a new one. All right, so I did take some brake cleaner and I sprayed it up in there and cleaned that out a bit. Tried to get as much of that oil out of there as possible. Now I'm gonna take my new one here and uh, I'll first I'll go in and edit by hand. guys to get to see too much down here but I'll try to do the best I can. Uh, let's see here. And it's already have uh it's already pre it, which is nice. Alright guys, sorry about that. I really had to concentrate on getting that in straight. Last thing you want to do is cross thread this. So you have to have it perfectly straight. It almost feel like it's not even going to fit up in there. For a second I was wondering if it was too big. Uh, but I've got it in there nice and flat. And I got it started. I think we don't want to use any equipment to get that thing pre-started up in there. Uh, let's see here. So apparently my phone decided it wanted to record me plugging it in. But there it is down there all plugged in. And the little red tab is pushed back up. And I'll let you know that that particular brand didn't work so well. Now I'm getting not only my P0520 but also my P0522. So I will be ordering the, um, the Mopar one and uh installing that one after doing this one i don't think it's going to be so bad to do the other one and i may still be able to do it from the top i'll probably just remove this right here the uh, coolant and windshield wiper fluid uh container and i should have easy access down there to get down up in there to do it so hopefully this got this uh video helped you guys out uh, if you do if it did or you liked it hit the like button uh, and uh, please hit the subscribe button. Um, I have a few other how-to videos out there too as well. Thanks a lot.